Yo, what's up? It's Nick here with Living Rich, and today I'm going to talk about the key aspect in what determines if you live a good life or a bad life. Well, that might be a little bit dramatic because there are also lives in between. Um, but generally, the key. Uh, <clears throat> key factor in determining how your life turns out is what I like to call showing up for the match. And that's basically showing up for your life and being present for it. And so is just being here the same as being present for your life? I don't think so. I think it's if you're present mentally, physically, and emotionally with your life. I, I feel like that's what really showing up for the match is. You know, showing up for the game. If match is too uh, vague of a word. But, so to put this in perspective... I want you to look at someone who does something very, very well that you admire, that you look up to, and then I want you to then go, and this has to be something that you kind of want to do yourself, go and try it out, go and do it. And instead of starting by saying, no, I can't do that, no, I can't lift that weight, no, I can't play that instrument, I want you to go show up for the time allotted, um, or the workout, or the, I don't know, the playing field, or go talk to that girl that's out of your league, and I want you to go do it. At least this is what I do myself, and this is why I feel like it works for me, because I go, I start, um, and just by doing that one thing, by starting and doing it, I've already got past the block where most people stop, which is thinking about it, thinking that they can or can't do it, and in doing so, augmenting reality. So you just start. You know, you just go, you start. Um, and the second thing, the second part of it, is staying for the entire time. Okay? So in order to do something you want to do, first you start. Second, you stay for the allotted time that you're supposed to be there. You stay for the entire workout. You stay for the entire soccer match. Um, you talk to the girl till you know, she doesn't want to talk to you anymore. And you don't bow out of the match. You don't give up on the fight. No matter how bad you're doing, this is your learning experience. This is where you start. And that brings me to the third thing, is where once you're there, you have to get in the zone be present mentally, be present physically, responsive, and adaptive and learning. Okay? And um, it's almost like you're, you're in it, you're attentive, you're responding to the situation, but at the same time you're relaxed. And that relax, that just, it's like a small amount of relax. It's like you're present in your body, you're strong, you're there but you're not tense, you're relaxed, you're engaged with it. You're engaged, but relaxed. So, are you learning something when you're like, <laughs> no, you have no chance to observe, you have no chance to be attentive, you have no chance to see the nuances of whatever game it is you're playing, whatever arena in life you're in, because you're too tense. So, First, you start. Second, you stay for the entire match. Third, you engage, but relax into it and allow yourself to adapt and see the nuances of the game you're in. And in this way, you can start to pick up on those same cues that the person you're admiring, the person you look up to that does whatever it is you want to do really well, you can start to see the paths. You can start to see 
and pick out the things that they see. You can start to see things you can do better in your own game and even make your own game unique and better in your own way from whoever it is that you're following. So, again, showing up for the match, the three parts of it is one, start, two, stay for the entire game, three, be engaged, but relax into it. Relax into it. Don't relax out of it. There's a relaxing or you dull yourself and you get out of the zone. I want you to relax into the zone. Make the zone your home. Make that place where everything goes right your home. And in that way, I want you to conquer your world. <laughs> At least that's what I do for myself. Or work on doing. It's always a constant process. And yeah, that's the video for the day. That's the short little message, wisdom, stuff that I've found helps me and what I want to impart with you. And I hope you, I hope you got something from this. So thank you for watching and have a good day.